Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching, this is me Mr. P. You're looking to buy yourself a USB-C hub for your Samsung Deck Station, but not all third-party USB-C hubs will give you what you're looking for. Let's say you want a USB-C hub that will do a maximum resolution of Samsung Decks, which is 3440 by 1440p resolution. You're looking at USB-C hub that will fast charge your Galaxy device at the maximum charging speed, will support up to 100 watts of power, will allow you to use 20 apps at the same time, it looks amazing, it's small, it's light, and it does. It has enough ports to connect everything what majority of Samsung X users will need. So you're looking for this third-party extend, third-party USB-C hub, but majority of them will lack one of these features. It will fast charge, but not full resolution. It will give you a full resolution, but only allow you to use five apps at the same time. So hunting for third-party USB-C hub is, becomes a very big problem. Even I stopped recommending third-party USB-C hubs quite a while ago just because I just can't guarantee that what I'm recommending for you will actually work. This USB-C hub is totally different. This is a jump gate and core drive 2-in-1 USB-C hub and adapter and station and dock everything in one by a company called Skull & Co. Big thank you to them for sending me this USB-C hub to check it out. So let's begin by saying Basically, that's how the box looks like. I already started to open up. This is how the box looks like. Arrived in very well-packaged box. Gives you a picture exactly what this USB-C hub uh, looks like, or two parts of this USB-C hub, USB-C hub looks like. Uh, there's a couple of pictures on the side, just show you what kind of ports you have, and I'll go over the ports in a second. At the back, it gives you a specification list that this the um, ultimate dock will work with the uh, Nintendo Switch, with the smartphones that has DeX, support. I'm not sure if it's going to work with other Android phones that has a different desktop environment and the laptops that has USB Type-C or Thunderbolt 3 port in. As soon as you open, there is more information. Um, basically, uh, it comes in two parts. And the first part is this, which is 100 millimeters by 100 by 25 millimeters size. This is like a dock station, it weighs 95 grams. And that's how it looks like. Um, it's all great. It's all plastic, but well, well built plastic. It doesn't feel cheap plastic, if you know what I mean. And a second smaller part is this, which is called core drive. And this is 88 by 37 by 10 millimeters in size and weighs only 25 grams. Basically, I think the manual probably weighs the same as actually USB-C hub. And that's basically the main part of this USB-C hub as without this, this will not work as intended. Well, it will work, it's just gonna pass the charging, but that's what's gonna happen. So let's focus on a core drive for a minute. So at the back of the core drive, you'll have four ports. One is for power delivery via USB Type-C and it supports up to 100 watts of power. This is a tick for me and it will pass a fast charging. If you connect your Galaxy device, your Galaxy device will be charged at maximum speed. Not all third-party USB hubs will do that. We have full-size HDMI, which supports 1080p at 60 hertz or 4K at 30 hertz. Samsung Dex currently at the time of recording this video do not support 4K, but this USB hub will output 3440 by 1440p resolution to your ultra-wide monitor if the monitor supports that. And that's another tick from me. We have two USB, um, USB 3.0, two USB Type A 3.0 ports. I'm struggling to speak, um, and they are up to five gigabits per second read and write speed. Plus, combined, they do 10 watts of power. And at the side, we have SD card, the micro SD card reader. This works up to 100 and 104, I do believe, up to 104 megabits per second. Oh, by the way, another thing is included is short USB Type C extension cable, and we'll show you why this is included. So basically that's how it looks like. Um, you can use like this. So if I'm gonna grab my Note 9, for example, I'm gonna take off the case because this USB Type-C connection is not gonna work with this case. I have a Spigen thin case. So if your phone has like a, a bit bulkier case, um, you won't be able to use this without this extension. That's why they included. Without this extension, um, you won't be able to connect. So you're gonna have to go and get yourself a, a your own extension. So once it's connected, it works like this. Straight away it's detected that uh, I have the USB-C hub connected, but we're not gonna use extension for a minute. So once everything is connected, the thickness of this USB Type-C hub core drive is almost the same as my Note 9. My Note 9 is slightly thinner than actually USB-C hub. I have everything already plugged in here for me to test it out. So I'm just gonna take HDMI cable, plug that in, grab the power supply that comes from a raw power charging station. So right now my phone is charging. I'm just need to quickly change the HDMI input to my ultra wide monitor. 
And while I'm doing that, I quickly can check my note, my phone uh, under charging. Under charging, it tells me that it's fast charging. Without even going into a settings, I can tell you straight away that this is 3440 by 1440 resolution. Exactly what I expected because basically, like I said, this USB C hub will give you maximum output resolution um, with no problems at all. If I unplug this, my Note 9, I'm gonna plug the extension cable and we'll connect into my Galaxy Tab S6. Let's unlock the tablet, go into trackpad mode. And if I'm gonna go into settings, go into a Samsung DeX option and under display resolution, um, I can pick up any resolution that is available, starting with 2560 by 1440p. 1920 by 1080, 1600 by 900, 920 by 1200, ultra wide quad HD 3440 by 1440p resolution, and the last one is 2560 by 1080. So I'm getting all the resolutions that are available with this USB C hub. I'm getting fast charging and it has enough ports for majority of Samsung DeX users to connect with no problem at all. Right now, let's talk about the actual deck, this docking station. And let's say I don't want to use like this. I can take this and slide inside. It will fit both ways, and this is a bit of a gripe for me. It will fit both ways, so i trying to force it, I might snap something. I might snap something inside, but um, if I'm gonna actually try to fit in the right way in, so is it right way in? Here we go, right way in. So this is, becomes like a part of this docking station, and now I can connect all the rest of the stuff. So I'm gonna connect the power like this. I'm gonna grab my HDMI cable, plug that in, put it somewhere on a desk. It has a rubber feet here at the bottom, so it's not gonna slide anywhere once you put it in. Grab my Note 9, plug it in. My Note 9 is getting charged. It says HDMI is connected. And any second, I will get some syntax output on my ultra wide monitor. I can connect the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse or connect the wire wireless adapter or just wire keyboard and a mouse to this. Obviously, I'm gonna use them all USB type A ports. But here we go, this is, can sit somewhere here on the desk and I can use my phone as a front facing camera for Skype or Teams or Zoom and etc. And obviously I'm getting 4340 by 1440p resolution on my monitor using this uh, skull and code jump gate. Another good thing that this adapter has, there is a riser. So if I press that in, it rises up and right now it's almost doubles the height or it was before. That means that I can, let's say, if I took my Galaxy Tab S6 off the case, I can connect this like that. And I know that it's not gonna put a lot of attention, a lot of tension to the USB, -C, USB Type-C port here, because this is gonna act like a stopper leaning and then it's just gonna rest on here. Another thing what this USB-C hub has is the small plastic bit here in the middle. And if I take that out, it makes the gap even wider here. So technically, I might be able to put this with the case. I don't think so. Another thing what I want to mention, there is a like a, a kickstand. So if, if let's say uh, I don't want to use like this, I can take this out, open the kickstand, like, come on. Now, here we go, open kickstand like this, and this rises up my the Skull & Co uh, jump gate a bit more. So it looks like that. And there is a two sliders here, left and right. If I move them, I hope you can see the USB-C connection moves as well. So I can lower it or rise it up a bit. I think that's what it, without the case or with the case. So this is basically means I can connect the stuff with the case. Gripe and a bit of annoyance, all this thing is that plastic bit. Once you take it out, you have like 12 seconds before you're gonna lose it. So there's nowhere to put this in once you take it out. Let's say I wanna take this out, but keep it somewhere safe, just in case we're gonna use it. I wish this, dock station had somewhere like a small secret compartment a kind of door or something where this plastic bit can rest while I'm not using it. So I'm going to put that back in. Um, like I said, this is opens up and it's spring loaded and it's all fine and great. But the problem that I, I started to notice that might be um, might damage the springs is when I'm trying to take this out. Obviously, I can slide like this and it's not going to go anywhere. Like what I mean is if I'm going to slide like this, it's, that's fine. But sometimes I do this and I pressing the actual riser every time I'm doing this. So that means by taking this out, I'm constantly activating this. So I'm not sure what's the lifespan of these two springs. I think this is two springs inside here. So I'm not sure what's the lifespan of these. And obviously it's not gonna, it's obviously it's gonna be wear and tear faster than it should. Um, well, like I mentioned this was putting the core, core drive inside here is a bit of a um, great. Well, I mean, it was great to put that in here, but because it fits the other way around as well, 
like I said, there is a chance you might snap it by forcing something in here by like with the force and USB Type-C might get broken or something inside my snap. Uh, my suggestion would be one of the sides that where I just dropping everything today, by the way, where is um, SD card micro SD card reader on one side, the other side might have like a something a different shape, different kind of, um, I don't know, instead of being a flat, maybe a groove and having like something raised up here, like a bump. That means that when I'm trying to fit the wrong way in, it's not gonna st even start going inside. Let's say you are constantly need to, you're taking photos and you constantly need to take photos of your SD card or micro SD card reader constantly. Um, this is all great. You plug it in and it all works. But when you slide that in, it's been blocked by the side of this dock station. Idea would be maybe have something like a cut out here to allow customers to, or to allow users to plug it in a SD card or micro SD card reader or something or once you connect maybe have somewhere a pass-through where you can constantly use SD card and micro SD card reader I come in with my SD card free SD card to plug the SD card I don't have so I need to take this out take this out plug this in read the photos of the SD card or micro SD card read put this in put this in go in there go in there plug it in connect it's just a lot of steps that I unnecessary just I would like to have a cut out here on the side or something Anyway, I think I'm yapping already enough. So pretty much this is, as far as I know, only one USB Type-C hub, third party USB Type-C hub that offers everything what Samsung DeX, well, allows you to use Samsung DeX with the maximum potential. It has fast charging pass-through, 3440 by 1440p resolution, 20 apps limit is fully working on this, it's not five app limits, it's fully 25, 20 apps can be opened at the same time. And it comes in two parts where you can use as a dock, when you're just using this stationary somewhere, let's say in a home office or something, or you're constantly on the go, you just take this outward view, and instead of basically having this in a bag, just moving around, you just take this, which is like I said, weighs about 25 grams, and you can take this with you, obviously you can grab a one of these extensions or get yourself something like this uh, which i think was a couple of pounds here in uk on amazon two or two of them and that's it and this is my setup when i need to go somewhere and on a go i need to get the samsung dex setup done with this core drive and a small extension usb type c so big thank you to askel and co for sending me this to review this is by far one of my favorite usb c hubs at the moment just because it's like two parts and i have a lot of versatility to to use this device this usb c hub has a lot of versatility. That's what I was trying to say. Once again, big thank you to Skull & Co for sending me USB-C hub, jump gate, which is this, and core drive, which is this. And combined, it makes the probably the best third-party USB-C hub you can buy for your Samsung deck station. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this USB-C hub. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.